Paul again. Now we've already talked about uh, possible leaks on these type of valves, uh, the one at the Union and the one on the inlet there. We've already dealt with them in the previous video. Now we're going to talk about another leak now which is a bit more bit more involved which is the, the tailpiece, the tailpiece part of the valve which screws into the radiator. Now these rely on um, um, PTFE on the threads which screws into the boss on the radiator but sometimes they can start to drip underneath here and you get a little rust mark underneath here so it's got to be sorted out. Now unfortunately this time what we need to do to fix this one is drain the radiator. Now there's two ways you can do that. You can either use the rod clamp set and um, take the, the radiator off the wall and take it into a, your workshop or outside or whatever and do the repair there or if you want to do the uh, repair in situ then the first thing you have to do is isolate the radiator both sides uh, using the um, both the valves. You screw these down and that will isolate the radiator from the system. Now once that's been done, if you want to do it in situ, you're going to have to get the water out of the radiator. Now to do that, we're going to use the tools out of the, uh, the rod kit again. And you need to catch the water in some sort of a container like that, square edge container so it will go underneath like that um, and catch the water. Now again we use the rad wrench and slacken off the valve. Now this, this radiator has already been drained so there's actually no water inside it. But what you'd do, you'd, you'd slacken off the nut like that slightly pull the valve away, catch all the water until it's empty. That's probably take about take about 10 minutes I reckon. Now in this case like I say it is it has been emptied so there's no water in it. So we've done that union now. We're going to pull the valve away. Pull it away from the radiator. Now we need to get the tailpiece out. Now what we need for that is this um, specifically made 12mm Allen key which is made specifically for this job. And that goes inside like that. You feel it slot in. So we make sure it goes inside. Now you have to force this downwards here to screw it out. Now I recommend that you hold the radiator because if some force can be needed sometimes you can end up pulling the radiator off the wall. So get hold of the radiator like that and push it down. Push it down again push it down again as it's loose you don't have to hold the radio it's quite loose just keep doing that until it becomes finger tight you can actually use the long end of this once it gets loose and just get that inside and slightly quicker to get it out Becomes actually that's finger tight now. I'll probably screw it with my fingers. Now then, if you look at the old PTF, it's a bit raggy around the edge, so get rid of the old stuff. We need to get it all off, and then uh, need to reapply the PTFE tape. That's very important how you do this. Now, how you do it is you 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 point the end of the tailpiece towards you like that, and you must wrap it around in a clockwise manner. So how we do that, we just grip the end of it like that, go around once and overlap it. Now it's on there. So we need to do it about one, two, three, four, five, six, about seven or eight times. And when you're doing it, make sure that you go up and down slightly so it's not all in one big bunch. So that's now PTFE, just push it around like that so it's ready to go in. Now offer that into the boss and just gently screw it in so it catches on the threads. That's in there now. And again you can use the long end of the Allen key to just screw it in like that until you can't screw it in anymore. Just tighten them up now. now the point now we we need to use the long lever to get to get some good pressure on it. So again, put that in. Now we need to hold the radiator again so you don't lift it off the brackets. 
if you lift it off the brackets it'll fall off and cause damage at the other end so pull that up reinsert it pull it up pull it up until you get it nice, must be nice and tight because you're going to end up you don't want to be doing this once now that's that's fixed in there nicely now again as I said in the previous video get some get some sealing compound get on your finger like that and just well, you can put it on the inside of the valve face like that just make sure it's all the way around not on the threads it doesn't matter about the threads you want it on the union face now again push that over there so it lines up and screw that on finger tight now, as I said to you before, make sure that the valve and the pipe are actually lined up straight. Not like that or like that. They have to be perfectly straight otherwise you'll end up with a leak here. Now we're going to tighten up the union nut using the rad spanner. We're going to hold the valve using the rad wrench. So we're going to push the nut down. We need to counter the valve with the rad wrench by holding, holding the valve upwards like that. Now I'm going to give this quite a bit of pressure now to make sure it's sealed. Yep, that's sealed, that's, that's solid now, it's back on. Now what I need to do now is um, refill, if it's, a, if it's a seal system you'll have to go to your filling point and put more pressure in the system and then open both valves, bleed it at the top until water comes out. Uh, if it's a vented system, reintroduce water into the tank and get more water into the, into the radiator. Uh, get a dry uh, tissue, wipe it around, check for leaks and check it when it's hot and cold because it might make a difference sometimes so um, get the system on, get it heated, make sure there's no drips and then just check it 24 hours later just to make sure that everything's settled down okay and that's it, that's how to um, repair a tailpiece from a radiator valve into the, into the um, radiator boss and that's how you do it uh, thanks very much for watching.